Jesuit School of Theology in Berkeley is a really special place. As soon as I came to visit, I fell in love. I was like, ah, this is the place for me. <laughs> there is no other place like this to study progressive theology. The commonality that the students have is that they're on a journey. They're on this spiritual journey, they're on this academic journey, they're on this journey to find out more about how they fit into the world. Students who come to Jesuit School of Theology will find a very distinctive philosophy of education. We're very dedicated to collaborative learning. People who are preparing to be ordained, as well as laymen and laywomen, women religious, study in the classroom together, work together side by side, and prepare for a future church where all folks will be working together collaboratively. I'm doing this with committed, faithful people who are going to be serving in the same church that I am. We're working together, we're sharing ideas, we're growing, and that is such a big gift for me. They are doing it in collaboration and partnership with others. And in the church today, that's what we need most. Because we're part of the GTU, we have students from many different religious traditions. We also have students coming from the eight centers here, the Center of Buddhist Studies, the Center of Islamic Studies, the Center of Science and Religion, the Center of Women's Studies. But we also have students from across the street from the University of California at Berkeley. So when I go into the classroom, I face probably one of the most motley collation of students that I ever had in my whole teaching career. And yet that is the richness of the experience here. You're coming from your own culture, you're bringing what you, you have from your own culture, and you're bringing it to these experiences. It is such a gift to be side by side in the classroom with all religions, all backgrounds and cultures. The resources that we have here, the faculty, the staff, we're all here to accompany you on that journey. We take context seriously. We take people's aspirations seriously. There's a real personalization that, that takes place. I find it so easy to relate to my professors and they're so accessible and willing to meet us where we are, both in terms of our academic work, specifically in their classes, but also to talk about issues of ministerial growth and discernment in our life paths and how that intersects all the subjects that they teach us. We're able to come together here and dialogue in a way that really wouldn't be possible anywhere else. As soon as I got here, I was received with open arms and could sense the community that's here, a real sense of community. I was so excited because of this welcome that seemed like home. So when I finally decided that it um, theology school was going to be in my future, and I really wanted to work with Ignatian spirituality. When I first came here, I was struck with a sense of hope, and I think the reason people come to theology school is because they have hope in, in humanity and in the world. The main thing that I think the Jesuit school has allowed me to do is cultivate independent research skills. With all the experiential wisdom and theological reading that I've done, I feel very prepared to move into doctoral studies at the next level. What has drawn me to the Bay Area has been the opportunities. The diversity that's present is something that strikes you very much right away. Being at a theology school and what that diversity means for us is taking it to the next level of service. As part of the second year, we choose a field ed placement. I chose Dublin Federal Correctional Institute, a women's prison, and seeing where God is moving in their lives. It's an honor and a privilege. We can learn from a community uh, how to minister in that community and have that be a real part of what you're studying and why you're studying it and have that community really play a role in the type of minister that you become. It's difficult to do theology this way, but it's the only way of doing theology in a way that's relevant and precipitative of the kind of, kinds of changes that we want to see in the world today.